All right, one last example. I'll try to make it easy for you. What do you know about the shape of this guy? It's a V shape, so it, why is it upside down? Because of the negative here, it turns it upside down. Mm -hmm. What about that 3 fourths being multiplied times that? Compression. Is it a big compression or not a big compression? It's not much of a compression. If someone said, I'm going to make you 3 quarters as tall as you are now, I wouldn't really like that. That'd still be 4 and a half feet tall. Uh, what if someone said you were going to be uh, you know, a fourth as tall as you are right now? Do it have issues, right? I've never been a quarter of my height, ever. <laughs> not, 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 not since I, I was born. So that'd be kind of awkward. What can you tell me about moving up, down, left, and right? Going to the right three, and we're going up three. So where is your vertex? Right three, up three. So done and done. Let's do your compression. We are talking about absolute value, so it has straight segments, right? So I can use this negative three fourths as a what? Slope. Make it happen. <coughs> so down three and over four, down three, I'm out of room. I can do a midpoint. Let me go ahead and get the rest of the points, though. Down three to the left four. Down three to the left four. And one more time. You said the midpoint, right? So my change in y was three. What's half of that? One and a half. Change in y was uh, x was four. So half of four is two. So that means if I go down one and a half over two, I get my midpoints. One and a half, two, one and a half, two, one and a half, two. The more points you have, the more accurate you can be. What do you guys think about that absolute value function? We're going to do these with inequalities. Function of x is. We we can um, in O three ten we actually did well, just, right just because I know we graphed some of that your time wise like mm -hmm. less than above or below the line or so well if I had this to be uh, less than or equal to that would mean you'd be graphing Solid shading line, below, below it, right. right so just have everything below it would be if it were right. less than or equal to right. Right. yeah but you can actually watch some videos on what a playlist of graphing everything says graphing inequalities and so you'll see parabolas, absolute values, and even you know just regular lines. So all, all that's there for you to look at if you want to say, what does this really mean? And even systems with those guys. Now let's compare this to the real one. It's so weird, you know? It's like double vision. <laughs> 